Hello YouTube, uh, it's Michael and I'm here to do a little tutorial on slow-mo because a lot of people have been asking me on my skin videos how do I get the smooth slow-mo and what camera I'm using and everything and actually I'm just using a, T a Rebel T5 Canon and I'm only shooting on 60 frames a second so it's nothing really special, uh, I'm using After Effects CC uh, it's really an easy effect to do and it's really useful so this is what we're going to be making So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty uh, smooth and crisp. It's almost like a like what you would use for a Twixter, if you guys know anything about that. But um, so yeah, it's really easy to do. I'm gonna try to keep this tutorial fast and uh, <laughs> easy to understand. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Let me just delete this, make a new composition, and just drag my uh, raw video clip in here. So the first thing you want to do is find where you want the slow-mo to start and I usually start it like right there looks good so you want to go into edit split layer and then find where you want it to stop and do edit split layer again so now you have this little clip and this is what you're going to be wanting to slow-mo so to do that you're going to want to go over here left click and bring up this tab menu and then go into time, time stretch. Now with time stretch, you're stretching out your clip however many times it's gonna be. So if you type in 200, it's gonna stretch out the clip two times as long. Uh, if you go to 50, it's gonna be half that. So I usually, for 60 frames a second, I usually do around 400 to 550, and that's the most you can do without it being too choppy and not usable. So uh, with other stuff, I, w I really wouldn't use slow-mo for 30 frames or 24 frames a second because it's going to be way too choppy. I'd rather you film in 60 frames a second and then get the slow-mo there. Uh, 90 frames a second, 120 frames a second, it's obviously going to be better. But for right now, I'm just using 60 frames. So let's do 550, and it stretches this out. So what you're going to want to do is take the top clip and connect it to the bottom clip. Make sure it's kind of flush. Uh, you can take these two, you can drag it so you can zoom in. That looks pretty good. So now that your clips are connected, uh, you pretty much already have the slow mo, but it's going to be a little choppy. Ooh, let me uh, turn the volume off. So this is what you have right now. It's a little choppy, but the way to take the choppiness out is come down come down to uh, here in frame blending you're going to want to double click that and make sure you have this enabled and what that does is it will right now it's pixel blending so what it does is it blends the pixels of each frame together instead of just having it frame by frame so it looks a lot smoother and cleaner so I'll show you that see how it's smoother and it looks more organic so that's pretty much it, but the thing about the pixel blending is that it kind of blurs the image a lot because the pixels of everything move, moving or blending together. So what you're going to want to do to fix that is come up here into Effect and then go to Blur and Sharpen and then go down to Sharpen and figure out how sharp you want your image to be. Um, I usually do, well with this I'm probably going to do like around 20 to 21 because you don't want it too sharp because you still want that motion blur because the video is supposed to be blurry and they're moving so you do want that little motion blur but after that you're pretty much done it's pretty easy simple to do um, I'll show you the finish it's it's really easy to do um, hope this helped everyone that was asking me and if you have any other questions of what to do or effects in uh, After Effects please let me know and I'll make uh, another tutorial about it uh, see you later.